Hi everyone, welcome back to Jack's channel. Today is a digital highlight. I have been playing for large bridge here today and I want to share some small tips which uh, can save our time before and after Shinto work. So for that, I want to check with the CAD side first. Get your highlight. Let's get into 3Shape with me. Okay, for this case, uh, I just didn't use a Titan base uh, for this Olin 6. Instead of it, I just scan and uh, design and then engaging uh, the custom abutment shape. Uh, the reason why I had uh, some mixed implant brands here and then also uh, some implants are later uh, the dip uh, positioned. So it's hard to using titanium base. So for this, I just scan and design the abutment. I try to make all the pad out of each other. So the bridge has a, like a one insertion direction. As you know, this will uh, make us a lot of saving time for cementing work. And then, um, as you can see, I just scanned this abutment as a dyed. So, uh, and then uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't use a gingiver function. The reason why uh, is not really like the tall and big gingiver area. And then actually, a little hard to use uh, the with the crown and bridge option uh, for the gingiver. So I just extend the crown the bottom area with a morphing and wax knife tool and then in the final line I just using smoothing tool first and then make stitching and then melting the junction area each other okay it just looks like too much work manually but uh, sometimes even this is a more faster and a more uh, the easy way to creating a full arch and then also last things we want uh, to make sure the gum contour is not over the cervical contour so a little under than that and we can expect with the top view milling machine can mill uh, and can see and mill uh, very nicely uh, same as uh, like a design so here is a uh, the finalized done work here so on top view we can see the cervical and also the the embrasures which means machine can mill out uh, easily. So as we know, the machine has a 25 to 30 degree tilt with a 5X machine. So I think, I believe uh, this much design will coming out very nicely. Oh, of course, don't forget the screw channel, okay? Let's see the, uh, the milling quality. Okay, for final recap today. So as we talk, uh, the gum tissue design, I just try to make uh, under contour then to cervical. And we can see the middle out very nicely. Of course, bridge direction is very important. We can see on top of you here. And I just did a little open on bridge of work with a, a little thin disc. And that's it. And for the center frame, let's talk about the center frame here. Uh, after mill, I just try always uh, make this piece out from the center, okay? And the center pin uh, need to make uh, the, like the even put the pin on left and right side to make sure the centering uh, evenly too. And then uh, for the pink coloring, when I draw the red line, I just try to draw uh, the red line just a little below then uh, the two sides point from here to here okay like this and uh, for coloring I just put the blue and violet for characterization uh, this is a appreciated multi-block but my client want to have a little more dynamic shade and I just add on a little bit so uh, I'm gonna use 
the 15 hour long center schedule for the full archer bridge okay and i'm gonna put in center for, uh, center fairness and i will see you tomorrow <music>